eyes. But why so many eyes in motion graphics? So I'm not joking. Have a look. In many motion graphics tutorial or projects, you can see that there is a segment that shows the eye animation. And there is a pretty good reason for it as well. And that is it adds a life into your non-living object. Let me clarify that it is not a tutorial that is made for beginners. I'm going to share the process of making such animations and with that uh, from start to ending you are going to get a lot of knowledge not just how to make this animation but also how to make uh, a choices and animations as a professional motion designer. Okay, so I need your 100% attention grab some coffee and now let's get started. So here we are inside the main composition okay and after that I have our uh, BG on top of that I have added radio waves and after that if you go to the polygon setting here you can see that I have enabled the star checkbox so if you deselect that it will look like this if you select it it will look like this and here you can change the slides the higher the number of the slides the star will look more dynamic so I have set it to 128 and there you have curve size as well and on top of that i have added deep glow i have used deep glow but you can use the normal glow as well try to use twice or thrice of the normal glow and change some settings on that and on top of that i have added the gradient ramp i have done one thing over here you can see that the start of the ramp if i press e twice here you can see that i have added expressions and that is wiggle and you can make some cool looking gradient animation using this technique. And we are all set for our PG layer. And after that you can see that I have my eye composition over here. So let's enable this as a professional motion designer. You should always pay attention to the direction of the viewer's attention. And uh, always try to emphasize the direction of the movement. In real life photography, photographers also try to use the leading lines so that it can draw the viewer's attention to their main subject. And similarly, it works for the motion graphics as well. So when it moves upward, here you can see that we have added a gradient that also slides upright. I just created another circle and on top of that, I have added the gradient ramp. Uh, I have just animated the end of the ramp for this. So here you can see that this point is moving up and it is lighting up our circle. Like right? here you can see that we have a position keyframe and that slides up and also inside the lights moving upward, right? So it makes the scene uh, synced properly. Okay. And uh, after that, let's see our eyelid. So this one. So if I press U, here you can see that we have bunch of keyframes over there and this is nothing but a shape layer that I have drawn using our pen tool. My second suggestion would be to master the path animation. So as a beginner when I used to do animations I didn't use the path animation but professional motion designers do use path animations quite a lot and here we have the same thing for the eyelid animations so practice that as well and after that what I have done. I have animated the path property so I have set a keyframe over there it is changing its path basically it's closing and opening closing and opening and after that if I move forward I have the people and the third lesson is always try to mimic the real life scenes here you can see in the later part of the video that we have tried to design the eye as per the real life eyes in human bodies okay and also the movement as well so if I go into that composition here you can see that i have my base circle on top of that i have added gradient ramp on top of that i have added another circle and i have changed the ramp color and this time i have used four color gradient instead of normal color gradient okay and on top of that i have another circle and that just a black solid circle in between them and uh, after that i have added another circle the fill color to white for that and on top of that I have added a first blocks blur and set the blur value to 10 so that it adds some highlight on our eye and after that what I have done uh, if you go to the pupil composition press U here you can see that it is also changing its position so from center to right 
after that left after that in the center so nothing but the position changes over here and in the starting i have animated the opacity for this one as well so from 0 to 100 okay and after that what i have done i have just duplicated the eyelid so here you can see that eyelid 2 and i have used that as a mat so i have changed the track mat to alpha mat so that it doesn't go outside so if i just disable it here you can see our our main people layer is going outside of the eyelid but if i change it to alpha mat it just stays inside that okay and after that what i have done i have selected eyelid to pupil eye layer eyelid and everything i have parented with our eye so that we can control everything using our main eye and what i have done after that i have just added a position keyframe so it just slides from there to upward okay and that makes the scene just like this and the fourth point will be styling in often times we forgot that motion graphics is also a design business so we have to think that perspective there are many reasons some animations look good to your eyes and layer styling and overall designing of the compositions is one of the key factors on them and on top of that here you can see that i have two adjustment layers for this so the first adjustment layer it adds a glow and here you can see that i have used curves for that and i have make a ace curve to bump up the highlights and after that i have added deep glow again and on top of that i have added the noise to add some texture and one more thing you can notice over here and let me solo this eye layer here you can see that there are some textures and grains so let me show you quickly how i have did this and for that here you can see that what i have done i have gone to right click layer style and select bevel and emboss and after that go to your setting highlight blending mode to dissolve and the shadow mode to dissolve as well and if, if you want you can change the color so if i select white the noise will be in white color and if i also change this color it will be on white okay so that's it in this way you can add uh, easily some grains and textures into your scene and make it more professional and after that let me show you what i have done with another adjustment layer so i have added another adjustment layer and that is only for uh, this eye lead okay so if i off this layer you can see that there is some noticeable changes in this part of the screen right so it is nothing but same curves and deep glow and that's it and that's a wrap